Hello YouTube and welcome back to another plot review video and once again we I am doing these with Lord Daka. Hello. So today we're on NH Lorien's plot. Yep. And it got a 9.25 out of 10 which is quite high. Yeah it is. It's quite high. Um, it's a bit different this one. Um, lots of atmosphere I'd say. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, there's also a little story up here. Up in the trees. I didn't actually notice that. Okay. Yeah. Let's have a look. Do you want to read this in a wizard voice? Because uh, I'm guessing it's the, well, it's the Witch King, isn't it? So it's going to be, like, evil. Well, you, we already know you've got a good wizard voice, so you can take it. Ah. The House of the Great Witch King Anzu. Plot by N.H. Lorien. In the northern forest of the Dwalian Kingdom, lives... Oh, lives? Well, that's good. <laughs> that's, me. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's me reading it wrong. Lives a really dark witch king, also known as the Great Witch King Anzu. If you pass this forest, be careful. Oh my god. This is where, um, what's it called? Leaves. <laughs> Better foliage is really in the way. So, sorry, for, sorry for my English. I am no native speaker. <laughs> so, okay, this, this Witch King is not a native speaker of English. Um, so he's an immigrant. So, could be... That could be a, a, the rest it. power of the Dark Spell. He also needs people to try new spells. Okay, so um, from the English that I've just translated into English, um, he's a bit of an evil bastard who kills people and practices new spells on them. It's kind of like the Emperor, you know, doing like a new type of force lightning. You know, you want to try it out on someone. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not really liking this sign here. It's just one sign that says torture you. Well, I'm, yeah. <laughs> I kind of want to turn away from this building, but... Yeah. Nah. Right, so let's go for a nice walk. Ah, la, la, la. Oh, Jesus Christ, we've got a horrible uh, head right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, 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 already, that's already a uh, get the hell out of here. Yeah. But actually, at least in daytime with shaders on it, it's actually pretty nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, uh, it's actually kind of cool. It's using the uh, bigger lily pads as well. I've just shut the door in case he's actually in there. Okay, uh, there's a hell of a lot of bones downstairs. Or downstairs, down the river. Down <laughs> downstairs. Uh, not downstairs. So, um, obviously, actually, there's a hollow of a lot of bones everywhere. And skulls are literally everywhere. I like it when people do this with um, yeah. the glass in rivers. So you can actually add uh, detail underneath. Yeah. Wicked. Yeah, that is always uh, good. And I also think that using the... Bio, you won't be able to see this because you've got shaders on. But he's yeah. got, like, red in the water in places. Ah, okay. So it's, like, bloody water Let and stuff. Turn them off quickly. Oh, yeah. Actually, that's really neat. Yeah. Mm, that's really cool. Yeah, you can't see what shaders, you can't see anything. But <laughs> that is wicked. Yeah. Sweet. And you got crows around as well, which are obviously notoriously evil beings. Yeah. Of the uh, flying kind. Okay, so we've got this, got some spikes, he's got some axes. Um, he's got a lantern, which is probably supposed to be fireflies. I'm not too sure about all the flowers, it kind of makes it feel happier again. At the same time, though, um, if you think about like how, you know, in wartime and stuff, you know, why we have the poppy. As a symbol. It's because all the people that died in those fields, then it became really luscious because of all the, you know, their bodies have got lots of stuff in them. So lots of flowers grew around them. True. So it could be like, or even that he's trying to lead, you know, bring people in. Yeah. I think like, I would have. Really pretty. I would have gone for more mushrooms and like nether yeah. wart, I think though. And that kind of stuff, like really dark, make it look like he's growing dark herbs. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That, that does make sense. So. Well, that's still kind of cool. There yeah. we go. I thought I just saw a clay block in the floor, but it wasn't. Ah, okay. Let's <laughs> have a wander around. Let's fly around the actual roof. Wise is pretty good. It's a little bit straight at the back. Uh, roof. Yep. You around the back part here. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just a little bit too many stairs. Just by using slabs, just to yeah. break that up a bit. Whereas the other side is really good. But no one else will just go everywhere. So there we go. Should we uh venture inside? <laughs> um. Uh, you can go first. Alright, let's go. Zoom. All right, shut the door, run away. Run! Yep. No, no. <laughs> I'm coming in. So he's got uh, books and potions, little table, crazy alchemist kind of thing right in the middle. So he moves up this uh, potions right here. Yeah. Why, okay. why is always the evil people have messy lures? I don't know. I guess they just don't really care, do they? I, yeah. I, or are they... Maybe they're trying to clean up the world by being... Okay, let's not go in that one. I mean, look, he's just left his book here with all his plans for us to just discover and find out what's going on. Evil world domination. Yeah. There you go. I do like this 
fireplace though with it being in the corner. Oh, the corner. Yeah, it does look good. Fireplace does look good. There you go. I'll just start to look upstairs. It is, um, it is oh. different, that. That's cool. And yeah, I, I think we'll go downstairs. <laughs> I don't know if you want to go upstairs first to show your people. Yeah. Your people's. Um, really showery like roof, obviously. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I kind of like yeah. how the fire... There's a little balcony because then um, the warmth of the fire would obviously warm upstairs as well. Quite well yeah. for that. So that's yeah, good. Yeah, that works out nice. Uh, so here we have uh, a cage. Um, so this is obviously where he practices whatever he's doing. Yep. With a hammer. Um, not sure I if always forget this block exists and then get dead excited when I remember it exists. <laughs> like a cage. <laughs> and then like a 20, 20, uh, 20 minutes later yeah. I always forget about it. Now uh, this is way too like well lit. There's a lot of invisible fire around uh, here. There must be. Yeah. I'm, Look at I'm it. How fire. bright. You would want it to be dark and horrible. Especially with this amount of dead people. You'd want it to be well, a maybe, bit... Maybe he wants to see his handiwork. Yeah. Maybe. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, look, look here. Yeah. Dead people. So I think a little bit too bright for the creepiness, and I think it's not mossy enough. I think what I would have done in this hmm. area is use glowstone as hidden lighting somewhere mm -hmm. in the wall, and use you can, further away you put it, you can lower the light level. Yeah, definitely. It's something like I used to do a lot, so. Exactly. But there we go. Nice and little little short plot. Yeah. But um, pretty good by NH Lorian. I think I think it's probably his first plot as well, isn't it? And it's quite I don't know, it just kinda looks quite cool. I I like the atmosphere part of it. Oh yeah. there's a cave. Oh Ooh. there is a cave. Oh, there's a cave, look at this. Uh I'm just checking out all around the sides. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people must have made these plots just before the ten point four update or ten point three yeah. update. Uh this cave is not just a cave, this is like catacombs. <laughs> oh, okay. There we go. Right, um, does that mean we're on the edge of like a major city or something? I don't know. Or I, this guy's a bit crazy if he's digging out his own catacombs. That would be yeah, that would be a bit extreme. I think. Well, it could have been. Well, you know, like yeah, like uh, old cities now they've almost like built over the last city, haven't they? Yeah. So it could have been that there was an ancient civilization here and he's found it and it was had some dark power or something. It was wiped yeah, out. Yeah, we'll go and, with that. And it's just. Nature has taken over again. Yeah. And what he's done is he's just, you know, built over it and then they go, oh crap, look. This natural cave leads to a, uh, a whole I underworld. Think what I would have done though, with this being quite mm -hmm. close to the river, yep. is put dripping water. Yeah, in definitely. This. I was going to say that because that water would get through. Yeah. Definitely get through. Uh, unless it's well, really well maintained. But apart from that, pretty cool. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, comment, like, subscribe. And uh, I think we'll see you on the next one, guys. Yep. See you later.